Hello and welcome guys. In this video we are going to learn what is Ansible is. I have prepared few slides like this. What is Ansible, why administrator care and few slides. And we are going to discuss this in this video. So first thing if you are not familiar with Ansible then you don't have to worry because Ansible is very easy and simple to learn. There are few more configuration management tool but out of all I believe Ansible is the simplest and it is so easy. So let's get started. The first slide, let me just go and it talks about why administrator care, not this one, okay, this one. So what is Ansible? So first thing I have mentioned here, Ansible is nothing but a configuration management tool. Okay, so many people think it is only a configuration management tool, but it is not. Why? Because it is also provide orchestration service, application deployment and server provisioning, which means Ansible is complete automation for your organization. That is why Ansible is so popular and there are 3000 contributors and more than 31,000 upstream Ansible projects. So you can imagine how popular Ansible is growing day by day. And also if you wanted to download the package, you can able to download the package from GitHub and also Fedora upstream repository. So it is free out there. You can just go and download. If you're not familiar how to download, don't worry. I will show how to download and install Ansible in my coming videos. And the next thing is you can use Ansible through CLI and also graphical interface. If you are not familiar or much uh, comfortable with CLI, then you can also use GUI. So which is nothing but an Ansible tower. Ansible tower is a GUI interface provided by Red Hat and also there is an upstream open source project which is called Ansible AWX and I have prepared a video already for this Ansible AWX if you wanted to see how to download the package and install then you can probably go through my video okay so now next thing is you don't have to be Linux expert or Windows expert what does it mean in order to use Ansible or to manage your system with Ansible you don't have to be Linux expert or Windows expert because Ansible is also support Windows that's why I have mentioned Windows expert here so there are few basic command you just need to know as a Linux admin if you are aware of those command then you probably able to manage and you can able to use Ansible and the best thing I like about Ansible is Ansible is agentless configuration management tool. You don't need to install any agent on your client system and you don't have to worry about those client agent system upgrade, right? So you just have to ensure that your client system is having an SSH connectivity and you are able to connect with those system with SSH. If you are ensure that then you are good. You would be able to manage your system with SSH. And Ansible is written in uh, Python language, but here to manage your system or the code which you are going to run on the client system, those are written in YAML markup language. So those are actually a playbook. We are going to discuss about playbook in my coming videos and we will discuss how to write playbook and how to deploy uh, configuration changes in your client system with playbook so you don't have to worry about that for now you just need to understand that playbooks are written in simple human readable markup language that is not a programming language like Ruby and Python it is just a simple language that if you see those YML language file you would be able to understand how easy they are and how easy to read them so anyway I'm going to show you that later and the next part is it has more than 1300 plus modules shipped with Ansible package. So the package which you are going to download and install in your system in that package you will have default more than 30 plus 13,000 uh, 1300 modules comes with that. So what are those modules? So those modules are nothing but the code or the operation which you are going to do on the client system example you are going to install some packages in client system so you're going to use the default yum right so those modules are nothing but uh, the operation like yum uh, command or copy command or 
anything you wanted to run so those are the modules are defined and it is comes with the ansible package so you, you would be able to use and these are growing day by day so when they have started ansible it was about 250 modules comes with ansible now you can see it is 1300 modules so it is growing day by day and people are adding more modules on this ansible packages okay so next slide let me go to this slide here so now we'll talk about why ansible why administrator care so as a linux admin why we care and why we wanted to use ansible so that is the question the first thing i mentioned with ansible you can automate almost everything you do in day to day activity so example in your environment you are doing uh, patching in your system so you have 100 servers we need to patch so to in order to achieve that what you are going to do is you are going to log into each of the system and you are going to run yum command and you are going to patch it so that will going to take a lot of time because you are going to in log into each of the servers and you will going to manually execute yum command and to avoid that or to automate that we can use ansible and in ansible we can specify the yum command to run in multiple servers simultaneously so if we use ansible or any configuration management tool we are going to save a lot of time there so that is the first reason i believe we have to use some automation tool and second thing is writing a playbook is so easy no need to be a scripting expert why because like I said, the playbooks are written in YML language and those are so easy. You don't have to be a scripting expert like cell scripting, Python or Ruby or whatever. So I will anyway going to show you how to write a playbook and how they looks like. Okay, so the next thing is why uh, write code in playbook and apply changes on multiple nodes simultaneously. So you can just write a playbook in one system or ansible master node and you can use that playbook in multiple nodes so example if you're uh, uh, patching a development environment with one playbook and now you wanted to patch the production environment so in that situation you can also use the same play playbook and you can use that playbook to patch your production system and that is also simultaneously you can achieve that operation Great. So next thing is, it significantly reduce time and cost to manage your IT organization and system. Why? Because when you are managing a system with Ansible or any configuration management tool, you are running from one centralized location and doing this operation in multiple nodes. So ultimately, you are saving a lot of time there. And also, if you are using Ansible, and you are clubbing everything into ansible then you don't need other teams so one single team can manage everything so that is why you can also reduce a lot of manpower there and the next thing is it is open source and there are a bunch of online documentation which provide by ansible you can go through and you can learn how to play with ansible and ansible playbooks okay so next thing i have mentioned it is eliminate inconsistency between teams that means example I'm on a Unix team and we have divided team between Unix like we have patching team we have build team and also an operation team so we have three teams and to communicate with each of the team it takes some time whether when a new project comes for uh, example there is a new project come for Apache and we have to build around 100 servers so now build team will going to build the system and once they have done that it will come to operation team they will check whether everything is looks good or not and again one it will once it will complete it from operation and again it will go to patching team they will paste the system and they will check whether it has the latest support level and it is running this latest patch level or not so it takes a lot of time and also there is a dependency between teams so if you are 
running a configuration management tool like Ansible then you can able to achieve all these things from one single console or one single engine from where you can manage everything you can also build a system like I said initially that it is not just a configuration management tool it is also doing application deployment and it is also doing orchestration service it is also can be used for server provisioning so we can do everything from one single engine so that is why it is going to eliminate a lot of inconsistencies between teams the next thing is it will significant significantly improve the speed and reliability of continuous development and continuous integration system so if you wanted to add any system or if you wanted to add any new infrastructure like cloud AWS Azure or OpenStack whatever it is you can add them in Ansible we have modules for them you just have to use those modules to add and you can use and you can build server from AWS okay so the next slide it talks about the application support platform so it supports not only Linux it support Unix Windows so in Linux it support all the flavors if you wanted to use SUSE, CentOS you can use it not an issue and also you can use Unix you can also use Sun Solaris, HP UX or AX if you wanted to run Ansible you can able to run it and it is also support Windows so that is what it says and it, you can also run Ansible in Apple okay the next slide we talk about the components so components are the most important thing in Ansible so you have to familiar with this component otherwise you won't be able to use Ansible because without understanding the components it would be difficult for you to run Ansible so there are four major components which is the engine first uh, I have mentioned here so with that engine Ansible command I itself we run playbooks so that is the Ansible engine we need and second thing I mentioned already it is about the Ansible tower if you are planning to use GUI interface then you can use Ansible tower and third thing the Ansible playbook where we are going to mention all the codes and operation we are going to perform on client system that is Ansible playbook and also the core modules which I have said the modules which comes with the package and we can be able to use those modules as per our requirement and there are also some sub components which is uh, there in Ansible we have to be familiar with those sub components those are inventory roles we have Ansible Galaxy template vault and ninja2 template so anyway we are going to discuss all these components and sub components in my coming videos and we will go through each and every components and how to use them wherever I go wherever I see I'll remember you if you remember